In this video, I will acquaint you with the Topdun TC002 Thermal Camera. This will be my third video in recent months about cameras that allow you to see things in the dark, so allow me to take a moment to clarify that, contrary to the slanderous lies posted by some people in the comments of those previous two videos about looking at things in the dark, I do not have an obsession with peeping around my neighborhood at night. I am a YouTuber and that was all research, which is very different from just lurking around and looking into windows for non-research purposes. I explain this to the police every time and I don't think that I can be convicted again because that would be double jeopardy, which violates my third amendment rights. So stop leaving scandalous comments about it. As of today, the price for the Topton TC002 Thermal Camera is $299 of monies if you have a fancy new iPhone with the USB-C's hole in it. If you have an older iPhone with the lightning port hole, the cost is only $229 of monies. And if you have an Android phone, let not your heart be troubled because nobody is going to laugh at you to your face, but you will have to use the TC001 model, which has the added benefit of also working with a PC. That model as of today costs about $289 of monies. And for your finger clicking pleasure, I will put an affiliate link to all the models of this thermal camera in the information section of this video below. And just for clarification and to dispel any scandalous claims made by some people that I am only making this video so that I could get one of these awesome thermal cameras for free. I did not get this thermal vision camera for free or even at a discount. I paid full price for this thermal vision device using the monies that I collected from my supporting channel members. Those are the very highly intelligent and hardworking men and women that choose to support me, my channel, and my videos by clicking on the thanks or join buttons below. When you purchase the Topton TC002 Thermal Camera, in the box you will receive this very nice little user guidelet and the very first thing that it says is read this. You will note that it does not say, please throw this into the trash without ever looking at it and then leave stupid comments on the internet complaining that it's junk because you're too stupid to figure out how to use it. No, it says read this. You will receive this fancy little cleaning cloth for cleaning the lens of the thermal camera. You will receive this USB-C's female to lightning cable, which I assume is for connecting to one of the older iPhones with the lightning port hole, but I have not tested that. You will receive this USB-C's cable, which is not required to use the thermal camera, but you can use it for remotely using the camera for getting it into tight spaces. You will receive this very very nice case for holding all of the aforementioned items as well as the camera itself. As I just mentioned, it is a very nice case and for nearly $300 of monies for this camera, it better be nice. And you will receive the Topton TC002 Thermal Imaging Camera. As previously mentioned, and as in the title of this video, this is a thermal camera, which is very different from an infrared type camera, such as this Seymour 200, which I recently reviewed. The Seymour is an IR type camera. It senses reflected infrared light, so it needs a source of infrared light. That's what this is. This is basically a giant infrared flashlight to light up whatever it is that you want to see. A thermal camera, in the other hand, detects heat coming off of objects and shows the difference in temperatures as color or brightness gradients. In other words, a thermal camera requires no additional light source to see stuff, such as an IR type 
camera. So for all of the wannabe GI Joes that complained about the IR camera not being good in a tactical situation because it gives away your location to the enemy, this type of camera does not give away your location because it does not emit any kind of light. However, this type of camera does not have the same kind of high resolution that most IR cameras have, such as the Seymour. And with this one, you cannot zoom in with it or see things from super far away as you can with most IR type devices. So what I'm saying to you right now is if you came to this video just to criticize something that is not designed to engage the enemy and proclaim that it is not good enough for you to use in your imaginary G.I. Joe wars, then you are an idiot. This camera is very, very simple to use. Simply install the app, plug in the camera, and then open the app. I will now display on the screen a series of moving images that I recorded using this TC002 thermal camera, whilst at the same time I use my words to describe some of the features of this thermal imaging device. I should start by pointing out that I am not a thermal camera expert like all of those other YouTubers pretend to be. Nay, my role in this relationship is simply to make you aware of this very cool, very easy to use, thermal imaging device. First of all, I should clarify that you can take both photos or video with audio using this camera, and it saves everything into your phone, not into the device itself. So you do not need any memory cards or anything like that. You simply need a phone or an iPad, or as previously mentioned, a Windows PC. I have seen a lot of online complaints and questions about this device pausing and making clicking sounds while using it. This occurs as the camera is recalibrating or resetting itself because of temperature changes and it is totally normal. So you will hear it click every 20 or 30 seconds while you're using it. This is how you know that it's working. On the screen you will see little dots. The center dot, or as us thermal camera experts refer to it as the reticle. Reticle. It shows the temperature of whatever the camera is centered on, so you can use this to measure the temperature of something just by pointing at it. You will also see two other dots that move about on the screen. One dot points to the coolest spot on the screen and shows its temperature, whilst the other shows the hottest spot on the screen and its temperature. And as the temperatures change or as you move the camera around, those dots move and update in real time. And just for all of you thermal camera dorks, the resolution is 512 by 384 and the screen refreshes at 25 hertz. There are also options to enable a temperature scale along the right side, which you can enable or disable. I eventually disabled mine because it was just getting in the way and confoculating me. You can switch between modes to display the temperatures differently with different colors and temperature ranges. You will see those changing in the imagery that you are watching now. And it also has an option to show you what you are looking at in a normal little window so you can get a better view of whatever it is you are seeing. As you move around or as the temperatures change, the camera automatically detects the temperatures in real time and adjusts everything for you automatically or you can lock it in so the temperature ranges do not change. But because I am just a simple boy, I just let it do its thing automatically. It also has a super high temperature range mode for checking hot lava, but otherwise you can just leave it in the default temperature range mode. The overall temperature range that the device can see is negative four to 1022 degrees of Fahrenheit. The camera does not use very much power, so although it is going to suck your phone battery down more because it does not have its own internal battery, it does not suck on it very hard, and you should be able to use the camera for several hours at a time. Of course, the main reason that I wanted to get this camera is because it lets you see things in the dark, if those things emit heat, such as an animal or a person. And as previously mentioned, it also measures temperatures, so it actually does have practical uses other than just looking at people in the dark 
for research and educational purposes. But one word of warning, the police will not care about any of that. And if you start raising your voice at them and yelling and trying to explain your rights as a sovereign citizen, it's just going to make them mad. Unfortunately, this camera does not allow you to look at anyone through windows, at least not through any of the windows in my neighborhood. The window glass just reflects everything, so you cannot see anyone inside. I also tried explaining this to the police, but they would not listen and just kept going on about not resisting. Also be warned that this camera does not work through glass shower doors or department store changing room curtains. However, it does do a great job at seeing right through walls to look at things like hot or cold water pipes, studs, rats, and electrical wiring. So very clearly and very obviously, this camera does have practical uses, such as helping to find hot or cold spots in your house so you can close or insulate them, finding leaky pipes, overloaded electrical circuits or breakers, finding studs or pipes in the wall before you hang a picture, finding wildlife or critters in your yard, your basement, your attic, or under your bed. And it can also be used for inspecting electronics to find faulty components, inspecting your car for things like bad brakes or leaking hoses, finding air conditioning and heater vent leaks in your home or in your car, and probably even more things that I am just not smart enough to figure out. So if I missed any other practical uses, please put them in the comments. So is this the best thermal camera that you can buy? I don't know, man. I'm not a freaking thermal imaging PhD expert like all the other YouTubers pretend to be. However, I can tell you that in this price range, it is pretty darn good. And not only does it do everything as advertised, it does it all pretty darn good.